Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Sunday, August 12th. Sunday, August 12th. We're going to start off with one of these like we have been, just for the heck of it. See what comes up. Now, the timing is fluid whenever this resonates with you. I did a reading yesterday and it said, be prepared for a shit storm. And many people commented below that that happened the day before. Okay, so I'm um, so just keep that in mind. A lot of things, you know, timing is different for every single one of us. Okay, now I've asked the universe, God, spirits, and angels, and this is what I start my readings out with every day Dear God, spirits, angels, and universe, please provide me the messages that these people need to hear. What, what do I need to convey today? Please use me as your vessel, your voice, and please try to remove my own feelings from the words. You know, that's what I ask. So we're going to see whatever comes up. And they're, they're here. They're here and they're providing me the messages for you. <laughs> and me. Okay, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first. You know, I came to this conclusion. I come to this conclusion a lot. But I had a major epiphany yesterday. That self-love is number one. Self-respect is number one. If you are not being respected, you have no choice but to remove yourself from the equation. That's what this card is about. Because without self-love, there can really be no love. Silence speaks volumes. It gives you time to think, to figure things out. If you don't like the silence, then, then you probably aren't hearing what needs to happen. If you don't give yourself time to be silent, you're probably not hearing the messages. If you're always in a hurry, you're missing something. You want me to hurry up and lay out these cards? You know, before I started this reading, I saw the temperance card. That's about patience. It's about divine timing. There's a purpose for everything. There's a reason why. But if you don't stop to see it, you never will. Judgment. Judgment. Perfect. This is about the truth. Accepting the truth, seeing the truth, knowing the truth. Making a decision based on taking the time to make that right judgment call. And if you're in a hurry and you don't go slow enough, you could make that wrong judgment call. Somebody may be thinking about the past, 
I mean, that's what judgment is when, you know, you think about judgment day. We all know what judgment day is. It's where the past all comes up to be hashed out. Everything that has been done in the past comes to the surface to be released, acknowledged, accepted, and dealt with. And then at the end of that judgment day, what happens? Probably a moment of silence. As we realize all that we went through and all that we did to hurt others, to hurt ourselves. You know, it might be a little bit overwhelming after that is all acknowledged, accepted, and released. It could probably be a little overwhelming. So there could be some silence as you feel But then after that is forgiveness. Ten of cups. Nine of cups. I don't know why I said ten. Anyway, um, wish fulfillment, happiness, forgiveness, and release brings abundance, brings happiness. Balance, six of coins. It's going to bring you what you deserve. This accepting the truth of a situation is going to bring you what you deserve. Oh, it's so funny. It is. It really is. Because I was thinking this morning with through my silence, you know, it's like noon here, Eastern time, just about. And I was thinking that, you know, I was thinking about everything that happened. You know, for a lot of you, you saw my live stream last night and it was pretty emotional. Um, some of you didn't and, you know, that's too bad, but whatever. Um, I was being protected. This is protection. And this is the card that I saw this morning when I was just contemplating. Protection, protection, protection. Somebody has been protected by something. And now they are being given, it looks like a gift. It's a gift from above. You know, heaven sent something. Heaven has intervened, intervened. They have. They have. Wish fulfillment is coming because you've released and forgiven. Released, accepted, and forgiven. And now you're going to get what you deserve a gift from above. Wish fulfillment is on the way. You, like I said, everything happens for a purpose. Even though I saw the temperance car, it's not here yet. There's a wish that is going to be granted. It may not be what you think it is. Okay? It may not. But whatever this wish is, it's going to bring you happiness. A lot of it. A lot of it. And, you know, and I think that... You're going to be receiving some sort of communication... It, that may be a little conflicting. Or you have received some communication that was conflicting and hurtful. But it allowed you, it allowed you to release. It, it did. It, it allowed you to, it made you make a judgment call. You had to make it. You received something. I think you may have received some hurtful words or some hurtful communication or some hurtful messages from someone that, because this is a call and this is a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody has received some sort of message that has allowed them to release and forgive. 
whether this message is from heaven or from somebody you know. I don't know. Um, interesting. There is an opportunity for wish fulfillment coming coming your way. Something that you deserve. Something that will bring balance to your life with a somebody with a person or a situation that you will be on equal ground with. There will be equal give and take. It won't be one sided. It won't be you putting in all the all the work. I mean, wish fulfillment on both sides of this six of coins. Somebody is going to come. It's a it's a gift from above that is wants to put in effort wants to put in the work wants to do whatever it takes to equal things out you see all he has to do is put that coin in here and these scales will be balanced so somebody is coming I think coming in to balance out your situation, whatever the situation is. And it is a wish. It's a dream come true. But it starts the very first card with release. It is. <laughs> Judgment is releasing and forgiving the past. It, that's where it starts. That's the first step. Even if you didn't get an apology. Forgiving even without an apology. This is an apology upright. No apology. Dealing with somebody that doesn't have um, any backbone, any morals. Forgiving them anyway. Oh. oh, destiny is in the house, okay? The Wheel of Fortune with the Star card, fate. This is fate. It's meant to be. Somebody was holding on to something that was unrealistic, that had no growth. Could have been Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could have been a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could have been Scorpio. Could have been Pisces, could have been a Cancer, could have been an Aries, could have been a Leo, could have been a Sagittarius there. Now, I think I have said them all. Somebody was stubbornly holding on to something that they thought was a wish, but really wasn't a wish. And now they realize that that is unrealistic. There's no growth in that situation. It's dead. It's dead. And now destiny, fate is coming to bring something good, good karma, okay? Good karma, or good, a good, um, well, what's the other word, dharma? I don't know. Anyway, there's, there's a uh, change of destiny, a change of fate coming your way. Because you let go of that old idea. This is the four of swords. You let, you let it die. It's done. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. You realize. That this isn't meant to be. And, and destiny. starts to play out in your favor the real stir turns for the better this is this is good luck good fortune whatever is happening is bringing you something better is bringing you good something really really good and this is especially i mean it's for everybody but these are the fixed signs right here on this Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Somebody is, was in a dissatisfying situation and the universe is here to balance things out again because you release, you accept, and you forgive. That's what I see. So I feel like somebody has had to forgive without an apology. They had been stubbornly holding on to something that was um, 
ego based, you know, pride, pride got in the way. They were holding on to it. Sorry, I didn't zoom that in. Um, but now, now, you know, the universe has, has issued them a, a chance to release and forgive because here's that chance to release and forgive. And those that do find wish fulfillment, they receive a gift. They, a gift is going to come. Something is going to come that is meant to happen. This is purpose and this is there's a purpose for everything. There's something better. You are being protected. There's a reason why something didn't work out because there's something better with, with a situation that it will be more equally balanced. Somebody is letting go of something that is dead with the Four of Swords reversed. It's done. The, the idea of you or us or we is over. It's dead. On a coffin. So good luck, good fortune, good things. The tides are turning in your favor because you've accepted the chance to release and let go and forgive. That's what I see. It's an act of self-respect. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Because somebody finds their self-respect, a wish is granted. And that's exactly what this is. Talk to you later.